Is momentum always conserved in inelastic collisions? When two objects collide, either in elastic collision or in an inelastic collision, the collision between them is controlled by the law of momentum and the law of energy. Suppose the collision took place in an isolated system. We will find that the total momentum of the bodies is conserved on the condition that the system of bodies does not experience any external force impacting it. Hence, the momentum of the system, S body will be equal before and after the collision occurs. During the collision, where two bodies are involved, we see that the momentum loosed by one object is acquired by another object involved in the collision. As a consequence, the momentum of the system of two bodies is intended to conserve. Why is momentum conserved in an inelastic collision? To understand, why is momentum conserved in an inelastic collision, let us go through the following. Let us take an example of a system having two objects, in which the two objects strike to each other. Wherein the two body are not bring to bear any sort of superficial force. The only force exerted by them is due to their interaction only. This means the two objects at any given instant have the same rate of momentum change when they are interacting. Hence, the objects in contact have equal and opposite momentum. Because of this, the combined change in their momentum will be zero. By the law of conservation of momentum, we know that, in absence of any external force on the objects, the momentum of bodies will not be altered. Now, Newton's third law states that, the forces exerted by the objects interacting are equal and opposite. And, the other condition is that objects must touch each other same span of time. The given conditions are correct for all sorts of collisions where Newton's third law is applied to all conditions where a force is applied. When these two conditions are met, the impulse delivered to each thing by the other is equal and opposite. Hence we can say that, as long as no external forces act on the system, momentum remains conserved as a direct consequence of Newton's second and third laws. Where does momentum go in an inelastic collision? As above mentioned, during an inelastic collision, the momentum gets preserved. Nonetheless, the kinetic energy of the system in the collision is not conserved. The kinetic energy is not preserved because, it gets converted into other forms of energy when they strike to each other. For example, the object gets deformed, it changes into sound, heat, etc. To understand this, let S take the instance of two trucks at outrageous velocities. The collision between the trucks here is inelastic. Now, if we start to calculate the momentum of the trucks, we will find that the momentum of trucks before collision and momentum after the collision when the trucks have collided is the same. But in the same place, if we calculated the kinetic energy of trucks when they were in speed and collided, then the kinetic energy will be different. The kinetic energy of those trucks has been converted to some other form of energy. Is total momentum conserved in an inelastic collision? Impulse is the measure to which extent does an external force brings a change in the momentum of the body. We can also say that the momentum of a body is the impulse required to bring a particle from rest to the motion. As we got to know that, the impulse is used to get in about the change in the state of moving particle, and we can use the impulse momentum theorem in an inelastic collision where impulse is given as. Is total momentum conserved in an inelastic collision? We can say that it is true that the total momentum of the body which are in an inelastic collision have their total momentum conserved. This can be observed by calculating the sum of momentum of two bodies in inelastic collision and calculating their momentum once the collision has been occurred. The two calculation of before and after collision is found to be same. Problems to explain is momentum conserved. Q. A gun which has a bullet of mass 100 gm. 
when the gun fires a bullet with a 75M SEC velocity. On firing the gun recoil with a velocity of 2M section. Now find the mass of the gun for the given condition. By the law of conservation of momentum, mass of gun recoil velocity of gun equals mass of bullet velocity of bullet. Q. Rajan is driving a truck loaded with goods, where its total mass is 200 kilograms. The truck is traveling in the, the west direction with a 10m slash SEC speed. Now Rajan hits the rear end of a bus having a mass of 1,400 kilograms. After the collision, both truck and bus stick together. Now calculate the final momentum of the vehicle after the collision. We know that the formula for momentum is given as formula, momentum P equals MV. From, law of conservation of momentum we get to know that. P initial equals P final. MV, truck plus, MV, bus equals. Velocity equals 5.8 m slash s. From the above given calculation, we get to know that the vehicle will now move with a speed of 5.8 m slash s. Q. Manon is moving down a steep hill downwards. Manon has a mass of 20 kilograms, and he is sliding down the slope at a 5 m slash sec velocity. Manon, s elder sister, has a mass of 30 kilograms. Both of them are sliding down, but the sister is sloping slowly with a 2m slash SEC speed. Manon collides with her sister. After colliding, both of them start moving together. Now calculate their resultant velocity. From the law of conservation of momentum, we know that their collective momentum will be equal to their final momentum. V equals 3.20m slash SEC. From the above calculation, we get that their combined velocity will be 3.20 m slash section. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. scientific calculator and many more other tools.